In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a lying leg curl with a dorsiflexed foot position. Now you might be thinking, what's dorsiflexion? Dorsiflexion is just simply pulling your toes up and towards you. Now, plantar flexion is with your toes down. I've done a video on that. Dorsiflexion is with your toes up. Some key things to understand with dorsiflexion is you are gonna be able to handle more load in dorsiflexion, which is really great for overloading the hamstrings because you've got the recruitment of the gastrocnemius, which is part of the calf. One thing that you should know in doing any hamstring exercise is that your foot position is gonna influence what head of the hamstring you're using, whether it be semi-tendinosis or semi-fembrinosis, or sorry, semi-membranosis rather, or bicep femoris. So you really wanna make sure that your foot position is in the right position, which in this case is gonna be dorsiflex, toes up, and towards you and neutral. Most of the time, if you go to a big box gym, you'll see people doing leg curl and their feet will be positioned up and out. Again, uh, that's just recruiting the same head of the hamstring. With your hamstring training, you want there to be some dexterity from workout to workout in terms of foot position, because ultimately it's gonna influence and give you better hamstrings that are gonna be more, uh, I suppose, functional or well-rounded. So we've got Wen here, we're gonna set up the lying leg curl and um, show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing is we wanna make sure the lever arm is in the correct position. And even before that, you've got the red dot here. You wanna make sure that your knees are in the red dot. And the red dot's just gonna be uh, dependent on what brand of equipment you're using at your gym. Here we've got Life Fitness, so they have red dots, and that's where we wanna align our kneecaps. Now, when we talk about lever arms, it's this uh, lever here. So a lot of people will put it too short. So I'll get Wen to do just one rep like that. That's too short, right? So um, the lever arm, and the reason why we want the lever arm to be as far out as possible, because if the lever arm is too close, we're not, it's, it's influencing the strength curve. We want it to be far away, so we get full recruitment of the hamstring, or really any exercise we're doing. So we're gonna change that, we're gonna put it on large uh, for when, which is perfect there, so it's just at our ankles. Now, some key things to do in setting up the body uh, in, in a lying leg curl is we want a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt. So we want a pelvis to be doing this, and then if I was to put my hand through her stomach, right, we want her, her abs to be actually a little bit off the bench. So she's doing this, so she's tight, she's almost hollowing out in almost a, a brace position when she does it. The reason for that is what that allows is she's stretching through the hamstrings and keeping her pelvis nice and stable. Often what you'll see when people do a lying leg curl is they lift their hips up, which is incorrect, because again, this is a hamstring exercise, not a glute exercise. So we'll get Wen to do a couple of reps for us here, and that's a nice position there. So her feet are nice and neutral and perfect. So she's gonna come up and then with a four second tempo down. So four, three, two, one, straight back up. Now, in terms of distance, we don't want to hear any clanking of the weight stack. We want there to be a hairline distance away, then straight back up, and that's perfect there. Four, three, two, one. And that's exactly how you want to be doing a lying leg curl. So, if you want more great videos like this one, which are to the point of how to do exercises correctly and any you know, tips, because we have a lot of videos out there on YouTube, ensure that you subscribe to Enterprise Fitness on YouTube. Thanks for watching.